Ramsey's keeping me company in the kitchen. I just came back from grocery shopping. <laughs> them out in the pan like this so they freeze evenly and they don't stick together I think if I just I think I can just shove it on top right here for now yeah that's perfect okay meal prepping some chicken breasts for the week put this over it because I'm afraid of the oil popping on me. I just took the three off the pan and they look really, really good. Golden brown. Okay, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you what I do to make the chicken breast. And I don't know, this was actually such a game changer for me. I could never make good chicken breast. Like never, this is great, right? I could never make like really good chicken breast. I tried baking it, um, frying it, whatever. And then I found this recipe online and she said, all you have to do is cut it crosswise and it just it makes it juicier. Like when you fry it, pan fry it. And it's so simple, but I'm just gonna show you what I do. This part I always have a tricky time with. Now I was gonna clean up, but this is real life. Okay, I got shit all over the place and this is just, I just have to deal with it. Okay, I live in a studio apartment. You get a really sharp knife. I'll start from like the thickest part, which is like usually like this wider part here. I'll hold it like with a flat palm. Usually it's uneven for me, but I'm just gonna like go for it. So I just start cutting it like this. And I'm always afraid that the knife is gonna come up through the breast on me and cut my fingers. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. So I've got a full breast here and this breast came out really uneven. It's okay, I can, you know, you can still use it. Um, so I'm just gonna put that on the side and do this second breast. I'm gonna cut off these like weird pieces. Okay, let's start. Um, okay, so I try to get like a good idea of where the the middle is. Okay, right, I'm gonna turn it because now I'm kind of having a... Now I'm just gonna salt and pepper it. I use um, kosher salt. Just salt it, the whole breast. I learned in this Bon Appetit podcast, I love their magazine. They said that people tend to like under season when they cook at home, which is why like a lot of people don't care for the food that they cook at home. So you kind of like have to over season and kind of, um, and then figure out your threshold. Prepare a pan. I put it on, ooh, right now it's been used up. But I usually heat it up to medium high heat, which is like a six on my dial. I prefer using avocado oil because it has a smoke point. I hope this isn't like super gross to people. So, okay, I just turned it on. It's still hot, so I might just add the chicken now. And we're cooking. And then do it for three minutes. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip it at 11.37. Now I need two hands for this because I'm gonna freak out. Okay, I get really, really scared. I hate the oil, so here we go. I'm gonna freak out. Okay! Oh my god. Okay. Ah! Okay, the oil popped on me. Woo! I'm such a wuss. Okay. I hate driving in the rain. Oh, oh. 
Okay. <laughs> Ramsey, listen. That usually helps calm her down. Okay. <laughs> it's hot, man. Hawaii summer ain't no joke, okay? Okay, it's still not as bad as a lot of other places, but um, it's been really humid. Uh, thank God for AC. I'm, I'm privileged enough to have AC. Thank you. Um, so, yeah. I am so exhausted. I have been... I have been grocery shopping since this morning. I, um, I dropped off my boyfriend at work. Sundays are always my busiest. Um, I dropped him off at work. I went to Whole Foods to go grocery shopping. I had to go to a Japanese market in Ijea to buy some udon noodles. They were closed. So I had to go to the Korean market and buy stuff there. My boyfriend forgot stuff for work. So I had to go drop that off. And now I haven't even eaten. I think I had like an eighth of a protein bar. Um, I'm gonna go walk Ramsey now. And then... I guess I'm gonna start meal prepping. I get her leash on her. Come on, ma'am. Good girl. Good girl. Other leg. Other leg. Good girl. Okay. Um, Helen and I like to think that when she licks us while we're putting on the leash, that's her way of saying thank you for taking me out. And I gotta get some of her fluffy parts out of the. Okay. Okay. We love it. We're loving it, and we're gonna go. Let's go. Look at this. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry. It gets really crazy. Okay. I'm going to go this way. I'm crossing the street. Okay. Get a mighty mouse. I know she is. Will you? Look how fast she's going now that she's been re-energized. I'm here. This is where I am. She's over there. Well, you know what? Will you wait? Wait for me. And she's tired. And she's done. I hope we don't see any more dogs because that was wild. It was just too much. I can't stand it when she. She has a reputation around here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Now, now I feed her before I feed myself. <laughs> That's what we do when we have very special dogs. Still haven't put away all of the groceries because Ramsey is priority. She's, she's not too far. Just woohoo! Hello! <gasps> Come on, go, go. I've got rice, meat, gochujang. I had to get this bombucha daikon. And I got cabbage, romaine lettuce, green leaf lettuce, red leaf lettuce, garlic and whatever, kale, a bunch of green onions, arugula, some mint, I can't even say it, croissants, onion, peanuts, bananas. Yeah! She doesn't even care. She did not give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> 